Okay, here's what I did with the data. Uh, I put it in a spreadsheet and I added um, just a column here. This is all to get it into either uh, Python or uh, Sage, but um, uh, just to make it a little nicer and so forth, I um, uh, there we go. I use this. Uh, I'll make this bigger. Uh, I use this concatenate command, you know, for the data, and I put commas in between it here, and I put these on the end just to make it into um, single lines uh, instead of a bunch of different cells. It just copies better. Um, but so I, I got got it ready input wise for a matrix uh, and I copied these and I put them into um, this shell. I guess classes are getting out here. And just so you can see this stuff a little better. Um, so this is the sage code and I just said uh, M equals a matrix. Uh, this is real, um, a real field. Uh, 20 by 20 here uh, is what that's doing. And then there's the matrix, and uh, it was closed off with a parenthesis. And then I did a show M. You don't really have to do that. I was just doing that to uh, see, so I'll comment that out. Now I did notice um, I needed to. I was having trouble with scale, so I ended up multiplying these by a hundred, and um, and we'll see here. Uh, so I'll evaluate, and this won't uh, print out that whole matrix again. Um, so you got this. What's nice about the Sage is I can grab this with my mouse and. Um, you know, look at it this way and and see what it's doing. Uh, you know, I can look at the indices here, and you know, there's zero and zero, um, and uh, well, let's see, come back up this way. Where should zero? Okay, so here is yeah, there's 1919. There's zero zero. And that was zero there, and you know you can get your orientation that way uh, on this. So that's a nice thing with, um, and I, I guess you know, and if I mouse scroll my mouse wheel over it, I can make it smaller or bigger, like that. And so that's a nice thing about Sage. Uh, you can change the color here. You can you can look things up to make it a. a, a more uh, gradated uh, color scheme and so forth, which we'll see in uh, the, the Python. But um, so I did that. Now I also looked at Matt uh, Plotlib, uh, so Matt Plotlib and um, and PyPlot, uh, and I I just looked up on Google and got a again a, a framework for this. Um, so here you set up your mesh. It was 20 by 20, so you go, you know, 1 to 21. Um, and uh, uh, I guess you could go 0 to 20 if you wanted that kind of thing. But it's, uh, I just went with, they had a 1 to 10 thing for 9 of them. Uh, so I went with 1 to 21 for 20 by 20 uh, for each of those. Um, so then you, you say, okay, I've got a mesh grid. My Z, uh, again, I just put that in pretty much the same way, but it's a, a NumPy array. Uh, here I did NumPy as NP, so that's just saying NumPy array. Um, just put the array in the same way. And then, you know, all this stuff you call uh, the plot.figure and assign that to an instance. Um, projection 3D, I guess, you know, I. I it's been a while since I've used all this, so um, I'm not sure exactly what everything's doing here. But uh, but anyway, it worked, and so I, I had to I set the limits uh, the z limits to to minus point one and point two, 
um, uh, aspect uh, you can play with that now the problem is when you you know you hit evaluate here uh, it does the Python and you get a this really nice thing where you know the Z values are color coded uh, we're down here at zero up to the 0.15 and I didn't have to rescale or anything um, and you know again I see my zero zero over here and and see that same basic shape um, but I, I can't grab hold of this and turn it um, and and so I, I do know that somehow in all this you can uh, set the um, the viewing angles uh, that sort of thing and so um, you could change that and rerun it uh, but you know possibly the combination of these two things uh, would do it and I'll I'll send you the files um, so uh, you know you, you could you could get this one where you can turn it and and so forth and that's very nice uh, and you can do this one with the color coding and that's very nice so you know maybe a combo of the two is what you want. Uh, so there you go.